Yeah, we we'll say now. It's what's cooking with Chef Noel. I am a Jamaican. Can't play too much because of copyright, but welcome to what's cooking with Chef Noel. Tonight it's all about some, you know, some Chinese influence. It's fried rice with sweet and sour chicken, which is one of my favorites. So let's get cooking. Welcome one and all, welcome. Another week, we're back. So if you're just joining, yeah, come on in. We're gonna start by seasoning or chicken. I was just partying, partying. So make sure you share the video. Remember guys, share the video, tell me where you're watching from. Tell all your friends them, you know, share the video so your friends can see what's cooking with Chef Noah, right? I am a Jamaican. No matter where in this world I go, I am a Jamaican. Oh. Ready to cook, ready to cook. Alright, so if you're just joining, welcome. We're making um fried rice with sweet and sour chicken. And a lot of people you know always ask me, Chef, how do I make sweet and sour chicken? And trust me, it is easy as sweet and sour, right? So I'm going to show you how today in this video. Alright, hold on. So I'm going to start by seasoning my chicken. I have some ginger powder here, some garlic powder, some black pepper and salt. If you have onion powder, you can go ahead and add that to yours. And then this is all good to go. Hey, good evening. New York in the building, eh, New York? London in the house, eh? Bell Glade. All right, so we're gonna season this, put this one side. So what we can do is mix some cornstarch with some flour, salt, and pepper. And then we can bread this or we can do a butter, right? So let's do the butter, right? So we have some flour here, we're gonna add um, some eggs and water. So I'm just gonna add an egg to that. So I've got some cornstarch in my flour already. It's all combined with some salt in it. You don't want the butter to be fresh. Let's add some black pepper to this. Then you add some more water to this. So you can use ice water if you wish. Some more water, just a little bit. <clears throat> just a little bit. Alright, here we go. Yeah, this is good now. Sheen and the building. Alright, so just a nice little butter, right? And I want to do the sweet and sour sauce. I'm still going to do the fried rice. Just in case, you know, you're just joining us and wondering what's cooking. So I'm telling you what's up and we got a wok here for our fried rice that's coming up. So what we're going to do is fry these chicken and put them aside. And then we're going to start the um, fried rice. Baltimore in the house. So 
let's get some flame going. So what y'all cooking today? What's cooking? What's cooking in your kitchen? Sheena is making um, jerk or coconut jerk chicken. So all we do now is get these. So our oil should be hot now. Still need to go some more. So we'll wait a bit. Get our exhaust on. All right, so in the meantime, between time, let's make a sauce. In the meantime, between time, we're gonna add some ketchup to this bowl right here. We're gonna add some pineapple juice to this. Give it a little stir. Not too much, you don't want it too thin. And see what's happening. Smothered pork chops. I'm making smothered pork chops next week on next week Friday actually. I want to add some soya sauce to this with a nice little color. So we're building our sauce already for the um, chicken. Add some sugar to this. So remember the pineapple juice is sweet, the ketchup has some sugar so we don't need too much and then we need some lime juice as well to give it that sourness, right? You're late, no oh man, you're not late. We're just seasoning our chicken and we're just mixing up a little sauce to put on the side. So in this is ketchup, sugar, lime juice, soy sauce, right? I will just on the back of the end, give it a taste. It must be sweet, it must be sour, right? You balance it. And we seasoned our chicken earlier with some salt, some pepper, some ginger powder, and garlic powder. And we did a little batter over here. So it's gonna fry these now. But as I said earlier, all you can do is add some cornstarch, right, to the flour, add it to a ziplock bag and just fry away. But you know, say, Chef Noel always got the extra mile, right? And I'm using chicken breast, you can use, um boneless, skinless chicken thigh if you wish if you don't like breast most females don't like breast, why? what is it? because going to high school you know, we always all of the breasts and the girls girls are just like, you know, mostly leg and thigh, why? you have enough already? <laughs> breast is the best, right? So we don't want to close the pan. All right, so while that's frying, let's start the rice. In the meantime, between time, and I'm using some cold rice. This was in the fridge cooked and in the fridge because when it's cold, it doesn't stay together, right? You see, it doesn't stay together. So, when I eat the hot pan, that's when it's shh and do its thing. Alright, so that's frying over there. I think I can add the rest of these. Shout out to Maud who is cooking as well. There are a few people cooking along. Big up on yourself. And I'm gonna post this video on YouTube, guys. So make sure you head on over to YouTube and 
subscribe that's where I post on um, the videos right don't smoke up no no fire alarm now right, so I'm gonna add some oil to this you following guys we're good <laughs> Prefer Thai, Thai, Thai is juicier. That's what they say. All right, so I'll finish with this. This is over here. Just wash this, get it all clean. So in this pot now, I'm gonna add, so this is for the rice. This is for the rice. I'm gonna use some of this ginger. And garlic. I'm gonna save some for my sauce. I like ginger in my fried rice. I'm not sure about you. You can do whatever you like. Then of course I'm gonna add some egg. You don't have to. It's optional. I wasn't a big fan of egg in fried rice really. But since I'm late for some reason, you know. Plus eight added protein. Can't beat that, right? So June says so she's gonna cook this tomorrow. Hey Christina. Alicia Sia. Sandra. Sandrine. Alright? So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna add some pack choy to this and of course, you know, load it up with veggies. These are gonna shrink. So here, this now sizzling over here. I'll just give these a turn now. Yeah, I'm using a wok, but I can't go very high. You see the chicken? They all... Look. See? Multiply. I want to add some mixed veg to this. You add whatever veg you got. And trust me, when you use fresh corn, and carrot like you blanch those yourself your fry rice is this is colorful already right so now I'm gonna add my rice to this use all of this If I was in the hotel now and the restaurant, you know, we use the wok on it. High flame and thing, but it's own cooking. I still can't manage them, you know, thing there. And then we add our soya sauce onto this to give it some color. If you have oil in sauce, you can use it. And it's a trick. So what I always do as well is when I'm steaming my rice to make fried rice, I add the soya sauce to that. So it has a nice little color already, you know? But usually you know that um, fried rice is leftover white rice, so it's used most time. So when you get that lamb off already. All right, so our chicken is ready. So 
<laughs> All right, is the chicken nice and you know? So you want to make sure that your rice is, um, you know, cooking, getting nice and crispy. That's why it's called a fried rice, right? So it's not just a regular rice where you just steam or hot up, I'm hot up rice. And a hot up rice. So remember to share the video, guys. This is going to substitute for soya sauce. You can use, um, just a moment. There's oysin sauce. There's so many other sauce. Oyster sauce. Some person has allergy to those, so. I think there are some vegan, um, you know, sauces out there that you can use. All right, so this now is for the sauce now on the chicken. So remember earlier we added some ketchup to this, some sugar, soya sauce, and what else we did? Yeah, that's all. That's all. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so in this now, we're going to add the rest of the um, garlic and ginger that we have. And the rice is ready. The rice here, guys. That's our fried rice. Ooh. Yeah, and pineapple juice. Hey, thanks, Junie. Young boy, it'll go. <laughs> Pineapple juice. You now pay attention, man. Good. So we can quiz you now a week time. And remember that you can buy the canned pineapple and just use the juice, right? Yeah, liquid amino acid. So, so what I'm going to do now is add some, some red and green pepper to this and some red onion just to give the thingy a little color, you know, sweet and sour, a little color. And guess what I forgot to put in my fried rice? Some green onion, some scallion. I love, 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 love scallion in mine. So just fold in this and turn off the stove. That's it. Oh, and we never see, and, and we never see. All right. So, and this is our chicken, you see? As a nice little butter, right? Tastes good. Smell good too. Let's add a this to that. I'm adding some pineapple to this. You don't have to use pineapple in yours. Some people don't like too much sweetness, right? Hey, Keisha! <laughs> And of course my chicken tastes spicy for some reason, but it's a black pepper. Spice just love me, right? Spice love me. So our dinner is very colorful, look. Baga color. Right? 
So we're gonna add the sauce now to this. Get out everything. And then uh, once it's got a little simmer now, then we're gonna add the chicken to this. Hey Anthony, first time welcome. Alright, so we're just gonna add the chicken now to this. Hope you guys see what's happening. You can always just move the comment a little. We'll just give us a little ray ray round and round. So I go on here, so catch our vibes already. The color nice. Wipe up a little, you know, and a little rare. So catch our vibes already. If you want, you can just add a little more soy sauce so it's not too, you know, too white. And remember, so that we use a butter, right? So the sauce is going to get very thick. And pretty much that's it already guys, we're finished. That's what's cooking with Chef now. See you all next week. Boom, we're done. And we're going to plate it up on this. And then we have, of course, you know, for Chinese mat, you know, we all paying homage. Turn this down low, can't make it too you know cocktail <laughs> he shall ask about the cocktail eh? I'm trying to stop drinking now and live for the Lord. And you all forced me to drink. So Chef is just getting some pictures so you can post for you guys. So I'm gonna make a cocktail, don't worry guys. <laughs> What you want me to make? All right, so this now, so we can just turn this off now. It's good. It's supposed to be sweet and sour, right? And we got our fried rice here, just in case you're just joining. And we're gonna serve it in our nice little Chinese looking plate. And how long did this take? 28 minutes, what, you know, a couple minutes. All right, what I'm gonna make, what am I gonna make? What am I gonna make? I didn't have a cocktail plan, guys. Well, let me see what I have and let's make something. Let's make something. I got strawberries. All right, so we're gonna use some lime juice today. This new user you have. We have some, whatever that is. We got some grenadine. We got some rum. All right, what else we need now? We have a grapefruit, we got mint. Oh Lord, my mint dried up. Got grapefruit. I spill something Which glass do I need? Something Caribbean-ish Rum punch, I'm thinking that, I'm thinking of rum punch We got rum, we got lime I don't think I need this I don't really like this much I'm thinking of rum punch 
Yay! Alright, so this is it. This is it. So I don't need this. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use this glass. So we need to shake this back to your level. So I'm using some guava juice. Trust me, these are so good. Look, they are thick. And if you want, we could blend this as well, you know. So I'm gonna add some lime juice to this just enough. So it's gonna be like sour. <laughs> I guess I never tell me if it alright. Watch this nose. We're gonna blend. We're gonna blend. We're gonna blend. Alright. in this the guava juice we're gonna add a little pineapple juice to this right so we're gonna give us a little blend Then I'm gonna add our rum because this is so much, I ain't gonna add all my rum to that. I need like much ounce of rum for that. I don't know, see, so look, real never rum expensive, so I have to make it stretch. So we add it to that. Then we're gonna add a little syrup to this. Then we'll give it a little stir and then it should have a little nice little contrast going on. Pineapple juice, some rum, and a little grenadine. Give it a little stir, and that's what we're drinking. That's what we're drinking. Nice and refreshing. All right. So it's time for fry to plate now. To plate now. To plate. So this is the chicken. If you're just joining, and we got our rice over here. Alright, so you guys seen what's up?
and then now we just do our chicken on top just like that and so this is it and a touch of sesame seed and that's what's cooking and that's what's cooking guys quick and easy fast and nice one and ready two and move that was quick right we finished already we finished already so let's get a picture of this That's blurry. Alrighty, so that's it. We are good to go. Thank you guys for watching this is it the sweet and sour chicken with the vegetable fried rice nice and colorful you can make this in under an hour of course i prep already and prepping takes like um a good 15 20 minutes so i would say under an hour you should be good all right so we give it a little try and see if it feel or if it's shot have you watched food network i hear somebody say something fail but even though Food Network, they always test the recipe though, they are always tested. So it's not like it's just a surprise and they cook something. It's always tested. Right? Yeah. I get a ginger, which I love. Yeah. The ginger I'm in you know, the fried rice. Ooh. You need some? Here we go. <laughs> Let me try the chicken now. And chicken has a nice little crust going on, you see? Mm. Bossy. Bossy, man. It kick up. It kick up. Alright guys, thanks for watching. So we'll do this all over again next week. And guess what? I'm actually going to start a podcast. So the podcast is going to be What's Cooking with Chef Noel, same way. But it's all about like food chat. And it's going to be hilarious. Lots of information that you can learn from, you know. I haven't started recording yet, but I have all the concept and everything. And in the process of starting to record. So you're going to enjoy those. I'm going to speak with some of my favorite foodies. Some of my favorite, like, you know, restaurant tours are... I'm going to mix cocktail on there too. So it's going to be a different kind of vibe. We're going to cook on the podcast too. So it's going to be different. So you can actually jog in at the gym wherever you are and listen to the podcast at the same time. Or you can listen to the podcast and cook whatever I'm cooking in the podcast. So I'll be live in the podcast. Say, hey guys, what's up? Today we're making so and so and so. And, you know, it's going to be interesting. So stick and stay for that. I think we might start at maybe in August. August, they're about. So the, diabetes, so the diabetes community is asking me to cook for them. Alright, so I'm going to switch it up. So next week I can do something for the diabetics and, you know, the vegans. I did vegan already, right? Yeah. Thanks to all the arts, Alicia. <laughs> And remember, yeah, man, the book as well. Yeah, thank you, guys. The book is doing well on Amazon, you know, number one. Keep it there. Still go and buy your book if you haven't got your copy. Share the link. Send it to a friend. Share it to all the Jamaican group them. And if you have your book already, remember to go and do your review. We need all those reviews. We need all those reviews, right? So the reviews kind of help the ratings and it help the advertisement you know 
non-alcoholic drink. You could make this non-alcoholic. Just do yo this body now. Pineapple juice, a guava juice, blend it with some ice, add the rum to it, a little grenadine. It's good. Alright, so I'm gonna post this video on YouTube. So I don't wanna do too much talking in it. So thanks guys. Next week. It's cuisine by Noel. The book is cuisine by Noel, a culinary journey through recipes and story. And make sure you share this video to all your friends, family, neighbor, your community, your political party, everybody. Alright? <laughs>